Thanks for checking out this video. So let's talk about what is coming to Shudder, not just for September, but for October as well, because Shudder is going big this year and they are doing 61 days of Halloween. Yes, 61 days of Halloween. I just got the email about it. So I'm gonna break this down for you what's going on. I'm actually gonna read exactly what the beginning of their email says because it lays it out pretty well, probably better than I could at the moment. 2020 being what it is, we're more than ready for Halloween. In fact, we just can't wait until October. So this year, Shudder is supersizing Halloween to a 61 day celebration from September 1st to October 31st, featuring eight new Shudder originals and exclusives, including Color Out of Space, I've seen it, definitely worth watching, Spiral, Veritica, Scare Me, The Cleansing Hour, The Mortuary Collection, 32 Malasana Street, and May the Devil Take You Too. Also, we'll be releasing the second season of Nosferatu, the uh, show that's based off the book by Joe Hill, who's Stephen King's son. Uh, I really like the first season, so I'm excited to watch season two. I will definitely get into that and review that. Uh, also, a last drive-in Halloween special with Joe Bob Briggs. Amazing. Uh, Vincent Price Collection, The Ghoul Log is coming back. Everyone loves The Ghoul Log. And they're going to do the Shutter Halloween hotline where you can call up and get movie recommendations. So, a lot of stuff going on for September, October. So now, first of all, let me let you know before I go over the specifics of what movies are hitting and what dates. Just know, any of the Shutter originals and exclusives, I will be getting as screeners, so I will be putting out no spoiler reviews ahead of them hitting shutter. So if there are any that you are wondering, should I check this out? Should I not? You can always, the week of, usually I'll put it up on the Monday and the new ones hit shutter on Thursdays. You can check that out. And then, um, you know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll help you form your opinion on if you want to watch them or not, or maybe you'll just say whatever. It's up to you, man. And woman. <laughs> okay. So Color Out of Space will be hitting September 1st, so that's right around the corner pretty much. Um, anyone who haven't seen, hasn't seen Color Out of Space, I think, do they have a, they don't have a description for it, but basically Nicolas Cage is in it, and it's a, it's done by Richard Stanley, who had famously quit uh, directing after doing the really bad Island of Dr. Moreau film, and yeah, so he, this is his triumphant return. It's H.P. Lovecraft stuff. It's really good. Um, I have actually have a review for it on my channel already, so you can check that out, but it's definitely worth watching. Spiral, which is a Shutter original, and then obviously I'll have a review out for that. Veritico, which is a Shutter exclusive. So I don't have the information on what that is. And Nosferatu Season 2. Um, just look into that one. So, for September, September 1st, Bram Stoker's Dracula. From Francis Ford Coppola comes a new take on the classic and chilling tale of a seductive Transylvanian prince who travels from Eastern Europe to 19th century London in search of human love with Gary Oldman. I've actually not seen this one, so I probably will be watching it. I know I know, people right now are probably like, how have you not seen that yet? It's classic. I know, I know. Like I said, Color Out of Space on the first. Also on the first, Countess Dracula, a mad Hungarian countess follows a medieval beauty regimen that depletes the local supply of maidens. Starring Ingrid Pitt. Should check out that one too. The Vampire Lovers. Are you seeing a theme here? A general and a baron hunt a vampire named Carmilla who seduces and bites their daughters. Also with Ingrid Pitt and Peter Cushing in it. So should check that one out as well. Victor Crowley, which was on the summer sleepover last drive-in just this past Friday. Um, Andrew Yong has spent over a decade claiming that local legend Victor Crowley was responsible for the 2007 massacre that left over 40 dead. Yong's allegations have been met with widespread disbelief, but when a twist of fate puts him back at the scene of the tragedy, Crowley is mistakenly resurrected, and Yong must face the bloodthirsty ghost from his past. Heard good things. I will check it out. I'm not a big fan of the, of the Hatchet films, but... I'll check it out, and I'll revisit the Hatchet films. I need to do that. So September 2nd, this is a big recommend for me. You should watch this if you have not seen it. Lost Soul, The Doomed Journey of Richard Stanley's Island of Dr. Moreau. Australian filmmaker Richard Stanley came up with an ambitious plan for adapting The Island of Dr. Moreau, but casting Val Kilmer and Marlon Brando proved to be his undoing. 
and he was fired off the film. What happens after that must be seen to be believed. It's wacky, it's crazy, and it's cool to know everything that went on and everything that went wrong, and you feel terrible for Richard Stanley. Definitely check that out. September 7th, Fade to Black. Shy, lonely Eric delivers film supplies for a living, but exists only to see movies and immerse himself in fantasies about characters and stars. Frequently bullied and betrayed, Eric is grip gripped by homicidal rage and launches a series of grotesque murders all patterned after characters and incidents from his beloved movies. That sounds interesting. I'll, I'll definitely uh, watch, give that a go. Uh, Southbound. Isn't this already on there? I think Southbound's already on there. But anyway, uh, on a desolate stretch of desert highway, two men on the run from their past, a, br a band on their way to the next gig, a man struggling to get home, a brother in search of his long-lost sister, and a family on vacation are forced to confront their worst fears and darkest secrets in these interwoven tales of terror and remorse on the open road. I've heard Southbound's pretty solid, so I might check that out. Uh, September 10th, Season 2 of Nosferatu. Definitely check that out. Um, obviously, if you haven't seen Season 1, watch Season 1 first. September 14th, Door into Darkness. Dario Argento. I've not seen this one, so I've got to see it because I'm trying to see all Argento. Four spine-tingling episodes presented by Italy's undisputed master of horror, Dario Argento. Originally made in 1973 for Italian television, Door into Darkness was highly controversial at the time for its boundary pushing and levels of violence. Wow. Okay, definitely excited about that one. Holliston, seasons one and two. Two down-and-out aspiring horror movie filmmakers struggle with life, career, and the opposite sex in beloved cult sitcom Full of tremendous laughs, cartoonish violence, and genuine heart. Full series binge release. So I put it all in there. Adam Green is in it, by the way. And Joe Lynch. Good for him. Cool. Um, that looks cool. Or that sounds cool. I'll, I'll probably check that out, too. Starfish. I've heard good things about Starfish, by the way. With reality fraying at the edges, Aubrey finds herself following a string of mixtapes left by her dead friend. The clues unravel the secrets of a mysterious signal... One that could either save the world or condemn it. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, then that sh that movie uh, Spiral, which is a Shutter original, hits on the 17th. Uh, and then September 21st, Rabbit. A year after her identical twin's disappearance, Maud is haunted by visions of the violent abduction. Convinced she is still alive, Maud attempts to trace her sister's final steps. Hmm. Skip. Uh, and then that Veratica or Veratica, I don't know how to say it, Shutter exclusive hits on the 24th. So that's just the, the specifics for September. I guess I'll probably get a release for all the October stuff um, when we get closer to October to go more in depth. But let me see if these other, if they have the synopses for these other releases in here. They do. They do. Okay, so let me go ahead and read these. I'll, I'll read you the one for Color Out of Space. After a meteorite lands in the front yard of their farm, Nathan Gardner and his family find themselves battling a mutant extraterrestrial organism as it infects their minds and bodies, transforming their quiet rural life into a living nightmare. Based on the classic H.P. Lovecraft short story, adapted and directed by Richard Stanley. All right. Nosferatu Season 2. Um... I'm not going to go into this because usually when they're doing a season two, they have some spoilers. So I would just say watch season one, then watch season two. So I'm not going to potentially spoil anything for you there. Spiral. Malik and Aaron, a same-sex couple, move to a small town in search of a better environment for them and their 16-year-old daughter. But nothing is as it seems as something sinister lies behind the pitch, picturesque, oh, eh, picturesque homes and welcoming faces of their new neighbors. Okay. Sounds potentially interesting. Veronica or Veritica. Experience an odyssey into the mind of rock legend Glenn Danzig. I'm in. Mother. In his directorial debut. Ooh, I'm even more in. A creepy, surreal, and bloody trilogy of erotic horror stories that critics have called absolutely bonkers. Oh my gosh, I'm so in. A new cult horror favorite. All right. With the AV Club saying... Everyone should get the chance to see what Danzig's ego hath wrought 
All I want to do is watch this movie again with as many of my friends as I can assemble. Wow. Okay, I'm excited for that one. All right, let's get that. Let's get it on with that one. Scare Me. Now that one is going to be October 1st. Sundance 2020 official selection. During a power outage, two strangers tell scary stories. The more Fred and Fanny commit to their tales, the more the stories come to life in the dark of the cat of a Catskills cabin. The horrors of reality manifest when Fred confronts his ultimate fear. Fanny may be the better storyteller. Sounds good. I'm ready for that. Then they're doing the Vincent Price Collection. Terror, thy name is Price. In film history, few actors have been as closely associated with horror as Vincent Price, and for good reason. Price presented a unique brand of intelligence and refinement, underscored with a delight in the macabre and a touch of madness. This Halloween, we are thrilled to present five classic films starring The Merchant of Menace. That's awesome because I've been wanting to check out even more Vincent Price than I've seen, which I haven't seen a whole lot. I think the only ones I've seen with Price are The Haunting of Hill House and Scream and Scream Again. I think that's it. So the films they'll be putting on there are House of Usher, Nice, The Mask of the Red Death, The Tomb of Legia, Legia Theater of Blood, and The Monster Club. Ooh, I'm excited for that. Uh, then they have Revenge of the Gulag coming back. The Cleansing Hour, October 8th. Max and Drew are millennial entrepreneurs who have made themselves famous with a webcast they created called The Cleansing Hour, which streams live exorcisms. Hmm. The catch, each ceremony is elaborately staged to look real in order to dupe their global audience. Until today, when today's subject, Drew's fiance, actually turns out to be possessed. Well, who saw that coming? The Mortuary Collection. A young drifter applies for a job at the local mortuary. Oh, this is October 15th when Mortuary Collection hits. A young drifter applies for a job at the local mortuary and meets an eccentric mortician who chronicles the strange history of the town through a series of twisted tales, each more terrifying than the last. That sounds fun. I'm excited for that. And the next one, 32 Malasana Street, coming October 22nd. It's 1976. The Almedo family has left the countryside for a new life in Madrid, but their new home becomes a house of horrors in this hit supernatural thriller based on actual paranormal events. Sounds interesting. Uh, then Joe Bob's Halloween, uh, Joe Bob's 2020 Halloween special is October 23rd. Put that on your calendars. So it is a 9 p.m. as all his stuff is. It doesn't say anything in here about what they may be showing, so I'll spare you reading that stuff. So October 23rd for Joe Bob. Uh, then there is May the Devil Take You Too, which is October 29th. Um, Timo Chahanto has made a name for himself as one of the world's most exciting horror directors with standout segments in anthology films The ABCs of Death and VHS 2, and features like Supernatural Thrill Ride May the Devil Take You. And action extravaganza, The Night Comes for Us. Now, uh, he returns with a sequel to his unforgettable 2018 hit. Two years after escaping from demonic terror, a young woman is still haunted by unnatural visions. The dangers that await her and her friends are increasingly threatening. The figure of darkness rises to take their lives. Okay. And then they have something about the Halloween hotline, which will be every Friday, every Friday in October... It doesn't say what the phone number is, but it'll be every Friday in October from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's when you can kind of call in and talk to someone at Shudder, and they'll give you recommendations for movies to watch based off what you tell them you typically like. So, sorry, I'm tired. That was a lot of stuff. So I'm excited for September and October. Let me know if you are. Put some comments down there. What are you most excited for? I mean, I know a lot of people are going to say The Last Drive-In, but what other than that are you very excited for? Is anyone else out there into Nosfer uh, Nosferatu, the show? Um, are you as excited as I am for Season 2? Because I really like Season 1. Anyway, put the comments down there. Do me a quick favor. Hit the subscribe button if you like any videos I do, because that's your way to repay me and say thank you, and it really does encourage me. It makes me feel great about doing this channel. But, um, and if you are going to do that, just make sure you also hit the notification bell because then you'll know when I'm putting up new videos or doing live streams or whatever. But regardless, thanks for checking this out. Hope you're as excited as I am for the things on Shudder to come. And until next time, keep it brutal.